Okay, the next thing that we're going to discuss is the coil. Now before we stride and before we take our swing, we want a coil. Basically what we want to do is we want to move back a little bit before we go forward. I kind of think of it as a basketball player who's about ready to take a shot. He doesn't grab the ball and then just go through a shooting motion. First thing he does is he bends his knees to get ready to go up and, and shoot the ball. So he wants to explode up uh, through that shot and he, gets, he goes down to come up. You can think of a sprinter. You'll see a sprinter get into the blocks, they move back, and then they go forward. And so they get themselves set. So when we're hitting, we want to do the same thing. It's a little bit easier to get that forward momentum going if we move back a little bit forward. And that's what the coil is designed to do. It also helps us with our rhythm. Now hitting is timing, and so we want to have something to help us with our timing. And that coil can help us get ready for the pitch to be on its way. And so what we want to do when we coil is we're, we're in our stance, and one of the easiest things to do is think primarily about this left knee. Okay, The rest of it, if we just work on our left knee, uh, really will kind of take care of itself in the coil. I don't want you to think about it being a big movement. We just want to move a little bit back. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in our stance. Let me move, move away from my tee a little bit. I'm in my stance now. So the pitcher's getting ready. He's in his wind up. I get in my position to hit. I'm in my stance. I kind of have a little pre-movement pre going on. Um, that's up to you on whether you want to move or not. When it comes time to coil, then what I want to do is I'm just going to think about this front knee and I'm just going to move it in a little bit. And when I do that, just moving in that knee, you'll notice again that my body is just moving a little bit. So I'm turning away from the pitcher just slightly my weight is moving a little bit more onto my rear leg. And so that's all we really need to do for a coil. It doesn't have to be a complicated movement. It, we don't want to do too much movement. When we're learning our new swing, we want to keep it real simple. So all I really want you to do for the coil is you get in your stance, and then I want to shake that front knee, and we're just going to move it in slightly. And you'll feel, you'll feel that weight going a little bit more onto your back foot, You'll feel your shoulders and your hips and your hands turn away from the pitcher slightly. Now make sure you don't go too far with it because again, we don't want to take our eyes off the pitcher. We don't want to turn so far away from the pitcher that now we can't see the delivery of the ball. So it's important that we do just a slight coil, just enough turn to kind of get our weight back and get us ready for our stride. Okay, so. What I want you to do is get in your stance. You can have your bat or not, doesn't matter at this point. And all I want you to do is tuck that knee and get the feel for a slight knee tuck and what's that doing to your body. Don't move anything else, just the knee. Feel the weight go back a little bit, feel the slight turn, okay? You need to get a feel for that. So that's all we're doing right here. Just get in your stance, tuck the knee slightly. Again, make sure you're not going more than just a couple, three inches. Okay? If you go too far, you're going to turn too far away from the pitcher. Okay? So that's our coil.